we take what we've already talked about and make it into an algebraic equation? How can we write an algebraic equation um, about the price of apples and the quantity of apples and the total amount you spend on apples? Well, the equation would be that the total spent the total spent on apples equals P times Q. It equals the price times the quantity. The total spent on apples equals the price times the quantity. Price of apples times the quantity of apples. This is really just common sense. You know how many apples you bought times the price, that will give you the total amount you spent. Again, let's say that you bought two apples. at $3 per apple. Well, $3 per apple times two apples, the apples would cancel, and that would give you $6 total. So we can see this equation works. The total amount you spend on apples is the price of apples times the quantity. We can confirm that by using um, a unit analysis. So when you figured out how much 43 apples would cost, you could have done that by just plugging into this formula. You could have plugged in 3 for the price and 43 for the quantity, and then you would get the total spent. Or if you wanted to find the total cost of 4 apples, you could plug in 4 for the quantity and 3 for the price, and plug that in there. Um, but the important thing I want to uh, point out is that you really shouldn't need to use this algebraic equation to figure out how much you're spending on apples. You shouldn't have to go um, onto the internet and look up the formula for total spent to figure out how much you're spending on apples if you buy four apples at $3 per apple because it's really just common sense. If you just understand what this ratio unit means, if you understand that it means that you're going to spend $3 on one apple, it should just be common sense that four apples would cost you $12. There shouldn't be any need to look up this formula. Uh, we can do all this without the actual formula. Now, the reason I'm stressing it uh, stressing this is that there are many formulas in physics and chemistry that are just like this. There's many formulas in physics and chemistry um, that are based on ratio units. And these formulas are really, they really should just be common sense. If you understand what the ratio unit means, you shouldn't ever have to look up the formula. You should always be able to solve the problem just based on your intuitive understanding of the ratio unit. Um, and once you reach that point, it really minimizes how many formulas you have to have memorized, or how many formulas you have to have written down in your cheat sheet, or how often you have to look up formulas in the textbook. Again, it would be kind of silly to have to look up on the internet what the formula is for total spent, because it's just common sense if you understand what prices mean. Uh, well, similarly, there's a lot of um, units in physics and chemistry that it's kind of silly to have to look up. Um, they're just common sense if you understand what they mean. Uh, just to give you uh, an example or two off the top of my head, Here's a formula for physics and chemistry. The mass equals the density times the volume. Now, don't worry if you've never heard of this formula uh, uh, before. I'm just making a brief comment about this. Uh, but if you've studied a little chemistry and physics so far, you've probably seen this idea that mass equals density times volume. Well, the point I'm trying to make is that this formula should not need to be memorized um, because density is just a ratio unit. So once we understand how density is a ratio unit, you should be able to figure out the mass from the volume without having to look up a formula. It should just be common sense. Just like, think, um, just like saying that four apples costs you $12 when the price is $3 per apple, just like that is common sense. Uh, or to give another example, The electric force equals the electric field times the charge. Now this is a topic from the second semester of physics, so probably a lot of you haven't seen this concept yet. Uh, but if you got to the second semester of physics, you might have seen how often this formula comes up. And oftentimes people therefore have to keep looking the formula up in the book. However, we're going to see that the electric field is just a ratio unit. Once you understand that the electric field is just a ratio unit, it's really silly to have to look up this formula. If you understand that electric field is a ratio unit, you should be able, and, and you're told the charge, you should be able to figure out what the force is just based on common sense. And just by manipulating the units, there shouldn't be any need to look up this formula in the book. 
Here's another example from the second semester of physics. The electrical potential energy equals the electric potential times the charge. Again, don't worry if you haven't actually seen this yet. Uh, but I want to point out that when you get to the second semester of physics, this turns out to be a very important formula. A lot of people spend a lot of time learning this formula, then forgetting the formula, then looking it up. But you really shouldn't need this formula at all because it turns out that V, the electric potential, is just a ratio unit. And if you understand that this is a ratio unit, then when you're told what the charge is, you should just be able to use the units or just common sense to figure out what the energy is. You shouldn't really need this formula. Okay, so the point I'm trying to make here um, is that one of the main reasons that I'm uh, going over ratio units in this series of videos is because once you have an intuitive understanding of ratio units, you don't need to learn nearly as many formulas. There's lots of formulas that turn out just to be common sense um, because they're just based on ratio units. Just like you don't really need when you're going to the store to look up in a textbook what the total spent formula is. It's just common sense because you already have an intuitive understanding that price is a ratio unit. So our goal uh, for um, this series of videos is to try to get that same intuitive understanding for a bunch of other ratio units that you might not understand as well as price from physics and chemistry.